first of all i just want to let you and your wonderful team know that you your institution really makes our country really really proud and you have set up an institution which will always remain in the years to come when we are all dead and gone it will still remain as a center of excellence for the future generation yeah i just want once again to congratulate everyone involved in building this beautiful edifice uh i work for the private sector i never work for the government uh i know how hard it is to build institutions with all the access to everything possible we have the freedom to uh, have build anything what we want hire anybody we want and uh, raise any amount of money what we want but to create a institution like this with all the limitations what you have in the government sector it is truly truly commendable why you are so unique you are unique because of your unique contribution in the area of uh, uh, the the very complex area of liver surgery so that's all i want to tell you shiv and i'm very very proud of your team thank you devi for your very nice words i know how busy you would be and still you could join and help us to have Uh, both the dignitaries uh, for today's uh, program ilbs is blessed to have you in our governing board and uh, your humility and your charisma has been uh, echoed uh, you had once given the ilbs icon oration and you remain an icon uh, for uh, all of us here uh, thank you we are waiting for mr nilekhani to join i think he has his board meeting he was supposed to join us by 10:45 but i am not sure if he is still tied up we had a very good morning in the 8:45 we have people who had completed 10 years of their being uh, pillars of ilbs so we were very lucky and uh, you may say a few words uh, how you maintain your excellence in the narayan hirdyale maybe a uh, while we wait for nandan sure sure uh, shiv i have uh, i have few suggestions uh, for ilbs to go to the next level my first suggestion is a digital health wherein i would like you and your team to make a take a conscious decision that within one year or two years there will not be any paper in ilbs because uh because i feel that if we take away pen and paper from the hands of doctors nurses and medical technicians mortality morbidity in the hospital will come down according to my estimate by at least 50% i have no doubt about it and since uh, yours is a single specialty hospital it is not at all difficult for you to accomplish this task but for this to happen there are few conscious decisions you all have to take one thing is software engineers do not create the medical tools it is the medical doctors nurses and technicians do software engineers will just create what you all want so input from all of you in that digital journey is very very important i will uh, just uh uh show you how exactly how how we run our hospital one second anil can i have my phone 
I'll just show you the. Uh, I'm not sure whether uh, I can uh, show the uh, last one year. I haven't done rounds in the ICU. I do the rounds uh, in my mobile phone. I go to bed at 11:30 at night. Before I go to bed, I do the ICU rounds. I am up at 4:30 in the morning and I do the rounds. So I don't see my patients only for about five hours when I am sleeping. Now, how is it possible? So we have created our own in-house electronic medical record called Adi. So if you can see, this is exactly like WhatsApp, but this is our own software. So the data stays with us. So these are the patients under my care and red bubble shows that the patient is in the ICU. Hello. And been, yeah. Uh, Shiv, I think uh, Nandan is uh, online.